Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Cornell Big Red and the Pennsylvania Quakers. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. Hey, you got to go out and play up to your ability. I mean, this looks like it'll be a total m and a total mismatch. The Quakers are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Second of all, make good decisions with the run. Don't turn it over, baby. And lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Outside jumper off the rim and no good. They move it into the front court. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Set that screen away. For two, he hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Oh, what a strip, Brad. The center gets the ball. Number 44 fakes the shot. Unloads. Gets it to go. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. They work the perimeter. He pump fakes. Parks in the paint. They won't let that go. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Hits the first shot. Misses. He grabs the rebound. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. It's electrifying in here. Adam, four, four, three. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He bombs from outside. Cornell are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Try to go inside. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Trying to feed inside. They go inside and now back outside. He makes the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Great shot. They look to get it to the inside with the fake. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. <laughs> Dunk. 
Dumps it in. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go back and watch that basket again. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fake gave it up. The center takes the feed. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Adams is eager and excited to compete. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Got the high pick. And the ball goes out of play. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. The center gets the pass. Picked out of the air. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The center with the ball. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they... That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. Doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. He does the sweet fake shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Goes out of play. The center takes the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot, but he missed the shot. And the fans here are loving the action. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with the six man for no reason. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Pennsylvania are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from left to the circle, way off target. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For two. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. On the dribble, gives it up. 
from three-point range. Oh, yes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here they go into transition. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, it's still early, but I'm hearing on the sidelines there needs to be some sort of rhythm established before this one gets out of hand. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Got a man in high post. And the fans are going wild. Well, the energy is unbooked. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Put a show on, man. Great ball handling skills. Stolen away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The frustration right there. What a great strip. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Cornell are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots. He makes the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. From left of the circle, he gets the bucket. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Turns it over. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They work the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. He drains it. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student section looks like they're having a great time. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. That's a seven zip run. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He comes away with it. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. 
Pennsylvania is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artek just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. For the bucket, goes. That's an 11-0 run. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound to build. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the top of the key. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the outside, defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Kicks it out. Here's a double team. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. Goes up for two. Pennsylvania are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. Now the high screen. Perfectly executed. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He takes it away. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for a good shot. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. With a deep shot from outside. He hits the shot. Got it down on the low block. Great play to take that to the basket. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. 
Nice feet. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Working it around the perimeter, way out on top, controlling the ball. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He's got a nice shot fake and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Tries for two. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He puts it in with contact and all. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Leans in. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. He puts it up. Got it. There's a high screen. And off the mark. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Fakes it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Moving it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. With anticipation defensively. And he'll kick it back outside. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. At the half, the Quakers are ahead by two. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Pennsylvania displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, nah, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Ball handler's in trouble. The small forward receives the pass. 
Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Count that as a personal foul. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. From the Milan, NBN. Dump it inside. It's stolen. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Step out on that screener. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He gets out of the double. Hey, poor execution of the double team, Brad. These boys were taught better. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. They work it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. From the baseline, way off target. Up for two. Perfectly executed. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Up and inside. Looking for the foul, Flynn makes the finger roll. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Big Red are down by four. On the outside, the small forward handles the pass. It's good. On the outside, there's a double team waiting there. Knocks it down. They'll work it around the arc. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's just the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. High post flashes. 
On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two, and he missed. Gets the rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. He strips him clean. Looking for contact. Up and in. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Goes up for two. He looks for the bomb. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. They work the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. The fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Gave it up. Good fake. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the keys to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Jump hook from the low block. Cornell have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. The Quakers' composure just took a big hit. Frustrated, Brad? That may be an understatement. It'll be interesting to see how they manage this situation. He throws it up from downtown, sinks it. Let's take a look at that last hoop. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Right at the circle. The Big Reds have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Yeah, he's on fire. In the paint. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Working around the perimeter. For three. Off 
off the rim and no good. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Momentary look from three-point land. Intercepted. This should be an easy bucket. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotating over. The defense moves so slowly. From right in the circle. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Tries one from three-point land. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, somebody forgot to tell these two teams there was such a huge mismatch coming in. The favorites look like they've met their match defensively so far, but Brad, as we know, it's early so far. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Pennsylvania have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Up and inside. He wants a three. He buries the shot. The Quakers are ahead by eight. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Isn't it great, Brad? He fires away. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Picked off. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Gave it up. He unloads a three. Way off target. Double team now. Bad angle. He shoots the jumper. That was a brick, man. That was an ugly, ugly look. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. There was no doubt about that one. Picked out of the air. The point guard handles the feed. Tries for two. Sinks the shot. The 
They're working around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Well, Mr. Vital, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it'll come down to in this game. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He dials long distance. He shows the sweet touch. Great defense. Dumps it in. Jumped in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. McCarthy receives the ball. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Makes it. That's incredible. Gave it up. Steals the pass. From the top of the key. He nails the bucket. Let the replay show us the real deal. He intercepts it. as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He gets the rejection. Wide open for the shot. He fires from long range. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He tries to knock down the three. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Too physical. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. off the pass oh, 
for the bucket. Perfectly executed. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. It's stolen. From left of the circle. He's got to pass those off there. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. He attempts the three. That's good. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Pushes it up. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work the perimeter. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Shot clock runs down. It almost certainly did. All you kids out there should pay attention. This is how you deny the ball on defense. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. They'll work it around the arc. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Pennsylvania showed vast superiority tonight in this blowout. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Messler. Good night, everybody.